It's Wednesday, you know what that means. Just like every YouTuber, when they have a successful video, they make duplicates of it. We are no different. This is Things You Should Know About In Character Camping at LARP, part Empire Strikes Back. I mean two. If you build it, they will come. Some LARPs allow you to come a day early. These are known as setup days and oh, they are amazing. Not only do you get to sit down and see your friends a little bit earlier, you know, have a few bevies, but it also allows you to be able to set up the in-character camping area the way you want it to make it look amazing and epic and just build that sense of immersion that you may not be able to get if you're quickly rushing on like a Friday. So if you can, go to them. They are absolutely amazing. And if you don't believe me, look at some of these. They're pretty amazing. The decor is all wrong here. Now the outside of your tent looks amazing, but does the inside of the tent look amazing? Decor is a major thing at LARP. Now yes, some LARPs don't allow people to go inside to other people's tents, even if it's in character. But you know, when you're at a LARP, you wanna have that immersion that whole weekend. You're gonna want the inside of your tent to look the part. So you know, when you, you don't wanna be outside dealing with loads of people, you can go and have an in character chat inside your tent. You can keep that immersion alive and really live in the character's skin for the weekend or the week, let's say. But overall, building your in character tent inside can make the world of difference. So maybe just go that little extra mile and ensure that your in-character sleeping area looks the part as well. Hey buddy, you, you know we can hear you, right? Now, this is gonna be a shocker to some of you, but I need you all to brace yourself and understand this key fact. Tents are not soundproof. It, it, it doesn't stop the sound. So when you're in your tent, be, co be, be courteous of the noise that you're making, whatever you may be doing, but be courteous to understand that your tent isn't soundproof and people next door to you can hear what's happening. So just bear that in mind when you're camping in character at LARP. Lock it up. Now we all need our personal belongings when we go to LARP, whether that be phone, money or anything like that, and we can't always carry on us. Now one of the things that people can feel a bit touchy about is leaving it in their tent. Because okay, we, we, we're in our community that we trust, that we trust everyone, but sometimes things go wrong. So one of the big things that I learned very early on going to LARP is always just take something just to lock my, my, my personal belongings away in, just to ensure that they are safe. And I can recommend this to, to anyone who hasn't been to a LARP yet, always lock up your stuff, especially your valuables. Break the walls down! Nicely. So the end of the event has happened. You've enjoyed yourself throughout the weekend. You've had a grand time but now it's time to take everything down now why i've put this in the list is it is actually a key thing now when you're you know packing everything up for you know the event afterwards you you want to make sure it's all done properly you want to make sure that all of the tents are put down every prop is put away correctly just so it means when you come back next time you can enjoy yourself that this can't be done by one person this must be done by a group this is one of those team building exercises that you always hear about but it's time to enjoy yourself as you not as your character you've just had an amazing time now it's time for you to have a good time as yourself you know, you get to tell the stories while you're packing down. You, you know, you get to hang out with your mate that you've had to, you know, keep in character the whole time. Now you get to speak to it as one person to another and really enjoy it. So one thing I cannot stress enough, you should help out taking everything down. It's that time of the week again, my friends. Matthew has his question of the week. Mm. Matthew. It's amazing. No one expected this to happen. Well, not to go on this long. I mean, it's like, what, been three, four weeks now? Yeah, something like that. Anyway. Sammy. Yes. What is your favourite part of the Imperial Orc camp at Empire? Oh, it's the pit. Straight away. How could you even question that? Uh, no, so, like, you know, I had kind of helped set up LARPs and stuff like that for such a long time. And then, like, I went to Empire 
and it's the first thing you see. It's this massive, like, circular thing with, like, wood sticking up out of the ground. It's like, it is proper an eyesore. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, what is that? And I just really, like, I saw it and I was like, I want to be a part of it. So now, like, every time I go to Empire, like, I'll rake it out, make sure there's no glass or anything like that. Like, make sure everything's safe, like nothing's broken or anything like that. But yeah, first, first thing whenever I go to Empire, it is, Straight to the pit, don't care about anything else. I won't say hello to anyone, I will just go straight there and I will just go and enjoy myself because I'm like a kid in a candy store, I get to go back. So yeah, that is my favorite thing about Empire, like setting up stuff. Does that answer your question? It does. Cool. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> just quickly, because I'm so excited about it, uh, I'm just gonna put some pictures in right now of the pit because I really enjoy it and I want everyone to see it. So enjoy the pictures of the pit. Well, I hope you enjoyed those pictures of the pit because I know what I did. Anyway, we've really enjoyed making these videos. Yet again, if you have any suggestions to help any new player or any player that is, you know, needs a bit of help, drop it below in the comments. We read them. We really enjoy some of the new stuff that's coming in as well. Like, share, subscribe, do all of that lovely stuff. And with that said, and with that done, goodbye. And good night. Bang! It's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's a new camera angle. Hooray! <laughs>